Hello Pisces, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm your favorite tarot reader on YouTube. <laughs> and if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I wanna say hello, welcome and subscribe because I do these readings each and every month. And I would love to share your tarot insights with you for the readings this month. I'm using my Groovy Weight Tarot deck. I'll clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. And then, Pisces, I will close out your reading with a Healing Oracle Crystal card. All right? Um, oh, and if you don't know, I go live two times a week. So if this reading is not specific enough for you and you have a you know, specific question regarding your circumstances or your situation, join me on Mondays and Fridays for Ask Me Anything live tarot readings. And uh, you can come on and ask me a question and I'll pull some cards for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, Pisces, with your reading. You've got some really juicy cards, really juicy cards. All right, what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces for the month of September 2024? All right, the first card we got is this Five of Swords. So this tells me that the month is going to start off with some, um, I'll say high level conversation. How's that? That sounds good, right? So you're going to have some really maybe even intense conversations or discussions the first week of September. And this could be related to anything. It could be in your relationship, uh, at your workplace, maybe in your business. Uh, it could be anything, all right? But the conversations are pretty intense. Now, here's the thing, though. This is something that needs to be addressed. This is a conversation that needs to be had. So, don't shy away from having discussions that go very deep because there's something that needs to be settled. There's something that needs to be um, um, processed even. Maybe a solution needs to be figured out, okay? Next up, we do have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is that fast-moving energy. Then we have the Sun card. So things are going to work themselves out, so to speak, and they're going to happen quickly. Nothing is going to drag on and on and on because the Knight of Swords means things happen fast, things happen quick, things happen, um, you know, relatively smooth. They just happen, you know, <laughs> in an instant. I'll say it that way. So we have the Sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck. That means success, happiness, joy, positivity. The answer is yes, all of those things. So that's why I'm saying have the conversations that you need to have, Pisces. Understand that a solution is forthcoming and you're gonna be very happy that you did so. Now we also have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the card of imposing limitations on ourselves. All right, so understand that you can be, do, and have whatever you want, but again, it's only to the degree that you believe that you can and only to the degree that you are willing to do whatever it takes or make the decisions so you can have those experiences. All right, so in the big picture, the whole big, <laughs> the big um, understanding is that, remember, you are in total control and that it's all about what you are choosing to bring into your life, what you are choosing to manifest and making the decision about the experience that you desire to have. Now, we also got the lover's card. Then we got the king of cups. These are two emotionally heavy cards. The lover's card talks about divine union, of course, but it's also the card of making a decision and being at a crossroads in your life. Now, this could be business related for a lot of you or money related for a lot of you, but it could also be something as it relates to life in general. In other words, you're trying to figure out what's next for you. You know, we're moving into a brand new year and a lot of people are starting to think about 2025 right now. And I pick up that that's kind of what you're doing as well, Pisces. We also have that King of Cups, which is the card of emotional intelligence, emotional maturity. And when I see this card, especially in the upright position, this tells me that you have a good solid grasp on your feelings and you're not allowing those feelings to kind of dictate what happens next in your life. Now remember, emotions do have a place in our life, but they don't really um, have to determine the outcome or the decisions that we're making in our life, right? Some emotions happen as a reaction 
and some emotions just, um, you know, it's part of, it's part of kind of what we're trying to figure out within ourselves, I guess is a good way to say it. But the thing is, <laughs> the King of Cups means that we're not allowing emotions to override our logic, depending on whatever the situation is or is not. All right, Pisces, so let's continue on. Wow, you've got some really intense cards. But here's the thing, the intensity um, of what you got going on is exactly what you need because I feel like there's something you've been holding back or something you've been kind of suppressing, uh, Pisces. And it's kind of like everything kind of comes, it, it, it like comes out to some degree uh, in, in um, September, all right? So we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like this is a relationship or a friendship that went south because there's something you don't know as it relates to this person, what they got going on. All right, so if somebody feels a little distant, somebody feels a little disconnected, somebody feels like a, you know, like like something's not quite right, um, understand this person has a lot going on behind the scenes that you have no idea about. All right, Pisces, so don't take it personal. You may even need to temporarily walk away. That's what we've got with that Eight of Cups. It means that there's somebody close to you who actually might betray you unintentionally because they've got stuff going on you make the decision to temporarily disconnect and walk away. Then we've got the, the Tower card and the Ace of Pentacles. The Tower card means something needs to be redone. Something needs to be dismantled. Something needs to be broken down so you can start over. And this could be this friendship or this relationship here. The other aspect of the Tower card, it means that things get very, very chaotic before they get better. Doesn't mean you're necessarily doing anything wrong. I use this example all the time. You know how when you clean out your closet, you take everything out and then everything is all over the room. It looks like a tornado hit it. But then you start purging things, you start putting things back in, you start organizing things and all that. And things just kind of come together beautifully. And that is what I'm talking about here with that tower card. In other words, things get really chaotic before they get really good. And how do I know they're going to get really good? Because the next card we got is that Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles usually means a brand new source of income, but it also means being richly rewarded for a job well done. All right, so sometimes the reward is in um, actually taking the action and you get the benefit and the joy from taking the action, completing the task, letting something go, making the decision, whatever the case may be. All right, so this is a very interesting second week in September for you, Pisces, because I feel like a relationship is about to kind of go through its own transformation in some way, but it's not because you did something wrong, it's because this person is going through their own life challenges and things are changing for them and they don't necessarily know how to communicate that with you. All right, but things are gonna be good, so don't worry about it because you got that Ace of Pentacles. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles confirms that, um, like I said, there's a reward there and the reward is going to benefit you. Now it might benefit you monetarily, it might, but it doesn't necessarily mean it always will. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what else shows up for you as we continue to move through. Wow. As we continue to move through the month of September 2024. All right, you got that Ace of Pentacles again. Ooh, and that Ten of Swords again. All right, this, this. All right, so. Whatever's going on with that friend continues on once we hit the second half of the month. That's what I'm getting with this card. All right, and we also have the Nine of Wands, which is the card of feeling a little discouraged and maybe even upset to some degree, right? Maybe even a little um, like, hmm. All right, so you're gonna be processing a lot of feelings once we hit the second half of September, Pisces. Now, the thing is, is, um, I feel like this is something where you need to 
maybe you're even outgrowing this friendship to some degree or you're outgrowing something else and you're starting to feel that once we hit the second half of September. Now we also have the devil card in the reverse. That's a great card to see in the reverse because that means you're not getting in your own way. You're not doing anything that's self-sabotage. You're not doing anything that um, uh, is unhealthy or not good for you, right? Because the devil card is all about those unhealthy attachments or unhealthy habits or toxic habits, toxic relationships. None of that is coming into play here, which is really good. And I do believe whatever this relationship was here that we talked about earlier, there's something that needed to be released in you as it relates to that relationship. And when you make that release, it starts to unlock all these other opportunities for you. Because remember, some relationships can be very emotionally draining. Kind of like what we talked about with this King of Cups. All right, we also have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups means that you will be reconnecting with someone or something from your past. However, it's not going to be anything spectacular. I'm not picking up that it's going to be anything negative, but it may just be a, oh, how you doing? I'm doing great. And then you go about <laughs> the rest of your life. Uh, we also have that Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, the Ace of Pentacles talks about um, sometimes new sources of income. And that's what I'm getting with that here. Although this is like not a long-term thing. Uh, this is where maybe you sell something and you get money for that one thing. It's not something that sustains over time. Or it could be that um, you have a temporary source of income coming in. And that starts uh, roughly in that third week of September. We also have the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is the card of feeling relief, right? This is the card of feeling relieved and the, the card of feeling um, where things are not are not as stressful as I guess they were earlier in the month is what I'm picking up with that. So relief is coming. If you're worried about some of the stuff that's going on as it relates to the relationship we talked about earlier. And the other thing is that um, the nine of swords really means that you're just feeling good. You're feeling better. You're not feeling anxious, stressed, or worried about anything that's going on because you have a good grasp on it. And we already talked about that Ten of Swords. Like I said, whatever's happening here, it continues on within the second half of September. All right, so understand that. That's kind of giving you a heads up that you're still gonna have to kind of navigate this whole thing with this person. And maybe you put some boundaries in place so you don't get too caught up in somebody else's nonsense. All right. What's going on with my cards for Pisces? All right, what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces for the month of September 2024? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? All right, Pisces. Now, I feel like I need one more card. Give me one more card for Pisces. Oh, yep, 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 okay. All right, so we got the death card. Now the death card, Pisces, is all about transforming, transitioning into something bigger, better, bolder, more exciting, more profitable. And this is kind of like the ultimate level up here. All right, so the death card means putting to rest one aspect of who you are or one aspect of your life because now you are reborn into a new version or a new aspect of your life in some way, right? This could be the death of a relationship. It could be the death of a work situation. It could be um, anything really because you're stepping into something better, right? So like I said, it's the ultimate level up, the ultimate glow up because this is the new reborn version of who you are. <clears throat> now we also have two knights here. <clears throat> when I see two knights, this usually indicates people, whenever I see these uh, court cards and I see them back to back like this, this tells me to tell you that these are people. Now the Knight of Pentacles means support as it relates to finances. The Knight of Wands means support as it relates to work, career, business. But when I see them together, this means that this could be people here. Now, this could be one person, you know, the same person, because we are talking about money and work. So it could be uh, somebody shows up to help you do something 
um, somebody helps helps to guide you through a process because remember you're in a transition here an ultimate level up and someone could someone could be helping you navigate that glow up or helping you navigate into the bigger better version of yourself and this someone has knowledge or some type of insight as it relates to money and as it relates to business for some of you all right and the other thing about the knights is that it's not always gender you know specific even though we have two males here um, it indicates people who have the energy of these two cards. So it could be male, female, whatever. Um, but remember to understand and pay attention to the people that are showing up in your life at this time towards the end of September. Because there is somebody who has, like I said, some knowledge or insight to help you get to that next level in your life. Next, we do have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords eliminates anything that does not serve her. Pisces, it's time for you to eliminate something and to cut something off. All right, there's something you need to let go of because it's only holding you back. And I think you have a pretty good idea of what this is. Could be a person, could be a physical object, it could be a situation. But remember, the Queen of Swords always prioritizes her needs above everyone else's, not because she doesn't care about anyone, but because in order for her to be of service and to be helpful to others, she has to make sure that she is taken care of and that she is, you know, in her well-being state. All right, so don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to prioritize your feelings, Pisces, because that's exactly what you need to do. Finally, we got two threes here, the three of wands and the three of pentacles, kind of like what we have here, the wands and the pentacles again. So this tells me there's a lot of things happening as it relates to work, as it relates to money, as it relates to recognition for the job that you do. The three of wands in the reverse is all about putting things on hold as it relates to planning for the future. And then that three of pentacles means that there's somebody who is very envious of you, Pisces, and what you're doing right now. However, that's not really your problem. But I understand some of us are more sensitive to that than others. But someone is feeling very um, envious, jealous, and threatened by what you do. But again, that's not your problem and that's not your focus. But you can pick up and you can sense when that's going on. So Pisces, um, what I want to talk about here is um, the evolution of your life and your relationships. Right, because um, things are just really evolving for you in a way that you probably need to experience because you are starting to just, you're starting to outgrow where you are. And sometimes when that happens, it's very, I don't know if painful is the right word, but sometimes it could be uncomfortable. All right, but don't be afraid of stepping out of where you are now so you can step into something better. All right, and that's really the tone of what I'm getting for your reading for the month of September 2024. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and close out your reading with a Healing Oracle Crystal card. Oh, uh, now. <laughs> This card literally is echoing what we talked about in your reading, Morganite. It's a beautiful crystal. And this is relationship healing. Literally, we were talking about this in your reading. How crazy is that? All right, it's about healing relationships, releasing relationships, redefining relationships also. All right, Pisces, so you know what you need to focus on for September. All right, make sure that you join me Mondays and Fridays for Ask Me Anything live tarot readings. If you have some more specific questions about your situation, I'd love to pull some cards for you.